If you love weekend getaways and craft beer, head out to Baird Brewing Company in beautiful Yuzu Peninsula. Out in Izu Peninsula is Baird Brewery, a sustainable-minded craft beer brewery which started off as a small husband and wife brew pub 16 years ago in Numazu, Shizuoka. We had the expectations, if you build it, they will come. Well, we built it and very few people came. And so the first couple of years were a struggle, but uh, we did have a market. It just happened to be in Tokyo rather than Numazu. A couple of years in, we accessed a, a larger system, which we put in the basement of our building and began to sell bottle and draft beer in Tokyo. And that's really where our business took off. Finally, we really realized the dream of building a beautiful brewery in the countryside in Shuzenji, which we're, we're still on the, the banks of the Kano River, which we were in Numazit. And uh, we moved here to these wonderful digs in uh, 2014. We're here because the Iza city government and local people worked very hard to convince us to come here. Most people know, you know, rural Japan is being is aging and being depopulated. Most places would are quite thrilled to have a business such as ours come into the neighborhood. I came from a background as a beer loving rugby player. I drank uh, in college. I, I love beer. I was a Japan studies guy. Really fell in love with Japan. Baird beer in Japan is a combination love for Japan one, and then you know what do I love about Japan? It's a, it's a craft culture. Japanese throughout history. What they do well is they make things, they craft things. There's a high appreciation for it. And so I thought combining my intrinsic interest in beer and in craft beer, more specifically as I got older, and uh, doing it in a small scale in a very craftsman-like way would be something that Japan would be a fertile market for. Japan's a very sophisticated place. If it's not really good, it's not gonna endure. Brewing, again, it's, it should really be a zero waste process. There's no waste in the brewing, and everything can be reused and repurposed. Right? So for example, our spent grains and, and, and hops and yeast, we, uh, we don't throw that away as industrial waste. We take it to a, a mulch facility and they, wherever possible, we use locally grown organic materials in our beers. We use a lot of local fruits and spices uh, and things. To the extent that we're engaged in agriculture, we have a beautiful wastewater treatment facility. You know, we're putting cleaner water into the river than, uh, than is in the river. They were involved in launching 1% for the Planet, which is a, a charity where, which we signed up. So our Hellas, our Heritage Hellas is a beer that we devote 1% of our gross revenue yearly to, uh, to charities that contribute to the environment. Beer, traditionally, historically, is, it's, a, it's about agriculture. It's been an extension of agriculture. It hasn't been an industrial process. Right? Beer is tied to the land and nature. That's where it comes from. You know? So our goal was always to do beer out in a beautiful area and demonstrate, not by words, but by through our locale and our actions, this intimate connection between good, minimally processed beer and pristine nature. First, tasting room. なんですけれども、あの、ブルワリー直送のビールがそのままここのタップで飲めて、もう見ればわかるんですが、もう天然の木とかも本当に自然なものをたくさん使っています。で、面白い昔ドイツで使われてた、あの、機械をそのままリメ